Hey, how's it going? This is George again. And what I'd like to do with this video is demonstrate for you how to switch over from bag valve mask BVM to bag valve tube ventilation. So bag valve mask ventilation, ventilating the patient with the mask only. How do you switch over once the airway is in place like the endotracheal tube or tracheotomy tube and do bag valve tube ventilation? So some of the things that you're gonna to need to switch over from bag valve mask to bag valve tube, and this is what we do in our specific area. You're gonna need a peep diverter if you need one for your bagger, as well as a peep valve. These come apart, so if they're apart, you might have to place them together. Have the peep set to whatever level you want for your patient. So we'll need that. We'll need a closed suction system. And there's two different varieties of closed suction systems. You're gonna find that there's closed suction systems for tracheotomy tubes, and there's closed suction systems for endotracheal tubes. So make sure you've got the right style of closed suction system. So because we're doing an endotracheal tube, uh, switch over from bag valve mask to bag valve tube with the endotracheal tube. This is the one we should be using. The tracheotomy tube's going in. This is the one you should be using right over here. So we're going to need one of these. And we're also going to require an end tidal adapter. So the end tidal adapter will allow us to capture the end tidal tracing as well as see what the patient's end tidal carbon dioxide values are or the CO2s are. So we'll need that. So in putting the pieces all together, once you're switching over, it goes something like this. Take the mask off. Grab the peep diverter if you require one with the peep valve. Place that on your patient valve assembly of your manual resuscitator. You can see it's on there correctly. Right? Then what you want to do is grab the tapered flex tube for the closed suction system. It goes on there. You can extend it if you require it or keep it in. I just like that sound. Grab your end tidal CO2 adapter. Goes there. Then grab the closed suction system, like so. Now you're ready to attach this to the tube, the endotracheal tube, right? And that's all there is to it. All the components for switching over from bag valve mask to bag valve tube ventilation. And resume ventilation once the style lets out of the endotracheal tube and the cuff's been inflated. So you're probably wondering, why don't we use PEEP when we're doing bag valve mass ventilation? Well, if you're doing BVM ventilation, the PEEP applied to the patient's airway when you're ventilating them will also be applied to the esophagus and stomach. So that means some of the gas that you're using is going to be directed into the patient's uh, esophagus and stomach during exhalation because of that extra PEEP that's being employed. So in our area, we don't use PEEP when we're doing bag valve mask ventilation. Switch over and use PEEP once you go to bag valve tube ventilation. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's it for this particular demo. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Also hit like or dislike if you don't like the video and uh, shoot me any suggestions you might have for any future videos as well. So from here, have a great day and we'll see you next time.